I told you on Wednesday, I'm sorry, that um, even though Wednesday was Martin Luther King's um, 50th anniversary of his assassination, that we were going to um, certainly remember him last Wednesday like we did, and I'll never forget. It'll be one of the memories I'll never be able to shake uh, in, in watching us. It was just hauntingly, I think, um, loud to be so quiet, and uh, 10,000 of us got up and not one word was said as we in silence, just in remembrance and in honor of MLK, walked out of here while our bell, while our bell tower rang 50 times, right, uh, in, in, in memory of that moment. But I told you on Wednesday that even though we were doing that on our way out, and um, that we were going to do something special this morning. And the reason we wanted to wait till this morning is because of our Seafall guests. So let, me, let me explain that. Not because we wanted to put them just in front of them, but we have uh, right around 50 Seafall guests, students that are considering this university, uh, that have made videos in honor of the 50th anniversary of the assassination of Martin Luther King. And they are, have submitted these videos uh, in a contest. Uh, and they um, are going to be told tomorrow afternoon who the winner of that is, who will re also receive a $10,000 scholarship. Uh, and so it's a pretty exciting thing. And I wanted to tell you, look at me. I wanted to tell you that whether you win that contest or not, uh, uh, we just think it says a lot about you if you submitted that video, that you're the kind of person who wants to leverage and use your talents to send a bigger message of unity instead of separation. And so to us, to us, you're exactly the kind of person we want here, because if you hate racism, you, you're going to love Liberty University, all right? So just know that you're at home. Uh, we wanted to show you this as we have a song uh, by, by the legendary band U2 that was inspired by, by this very moment, and uh, hopefully just stop right now together collectively and think about that moment where I think the enemy wanted to silence a prophet, but really what the enemy meant for evil, God used for even greater good. Let's, let's watch this together. Why, why, fence? One man, he is it. 
hearts ring out in the Memphis sky. When we allow freedom ring, when we let it ring from every village and every hamlet, from every state and every city, we will be able to speed up that day when all of God's children, black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics, will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old Negro spiritual, free at last, free at last, thank God Almighty, we are free at last. I think the greatest way that we could honor the legacy of an iconic hero in our nation is to really ask ourselves a very simple question right now. And the question is, is there anything in my life that needs to be rooted out? Is there anything in my relationships? Is there anything in maybe not even things I say, but things I don't speak up about that can contribute to racism instead of? right? Fight it. And I think God is calling for you and I to be freedom fighters. And if the church doesn't rise up, then no one ever will. And so I think we, we celebrate, we celebrate what God has done in and through Reverend Martin Luther King, but it is imperative for us to not just watch a video and be in agreement with it, but then to step into this moment and to say, that I, I, I do have a dream that one day, one day, one day, we'll live in a nation where it's not just not tolerated on paper, but it is something that is rooted out and that the church was a great freedom fighter, right, in that plight.